today I'm going to be reviewing the InnoLife MMA Boxing Speed Trainer Punching Bag Spinning Bar. I think I'll call it the InnoLife Bar for sure. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jesse and I'm the founder and grandmaster of MMA, Mexican Martial Arts. My favorite thing about the InnoLife Bar? is that I got mine for free. It's like John Lennon said, the best things in life are free. If you agree to do a review of them on your YouTube channel. My least favorite thing is that I had to put it together. When they asked if I had any special shipping instructions, I said, yes, please assemble it first and then ship it to me. They thought I was joking. Irregardless, my neighbor just bought me a Home Depot card for my birthday because she's racist. So I bought some tools. The first thing I took out was the base, which clearly didn't have any sand or water in it. There was a metal disc and then a rubber plug that I had to take off and then I filled it up with water. You could also use sand if you could afford it or from the beach if you don't get caught. If you have to use water, like me, then just be sure not to overfill it. I put a lot because I knew that it would be necessary because of my power, but then it started leaking right away. After I put the stuff back on, I wanted to see how heavy it was because I was concerned about sending it across the room upon impact. And it's not that heavy, it, it was just like awkward, you know? That was it for the first box. The second box was a little bit more intimidating. There didn't appear to be instructions, so I had to try my best to figure out what to do with all the parts. I would usually just go on YouTube and look something like this up, but this is a fairly new product and there was no videos about how to assemble it. I guess people just have to watch mine. And then, at the very bottom of the box, I found them. They actually provided the only tools that I would need to assemble the whole thing. I have wasted my Home Depot gift card and I really needed some new light bulbs. And then I saw them, the instructions. As I studied them, all of the pieces and the ways that they would intertwine became a lot more clear to me. It would be smooth sailing from here. I want to save you some time and let you know that the pump has a little needle attached to it so that you can put it into the ball when you pump it. It took me a little while to notice. Then that first ball goes on the arm thing and that goes on the pole. The spinning bar goes above that. Then you put the little spring on for the other ball. At that point, I didn't feel like messing with the pump again, so I just blew it up like a balloon. But I have really strong lungs because I play the saxophone, so you might have to use the pump. Again, if you put too much water, like me, you'll see it continue to drip, but it stops after a little while. There was this padding that came in the box that I wasn't sure what to do with, and it wasn't mentioned in the instructions. The only thing I could think of is that maybe it was for people with like weak shins, but it didn't fit the pole and it didn't really fit my legs either. Most likely it will fit on you, but my calves are too thick. It could also be used to condition your chin or for resting after a hard workout. It also came with these suction cups that you can put at the bottom, but I chose not to use them because I need to be able to move it when my mom gets home. So that's it. That's the assembly. And now it's time to have some fun. I know what you're thinking. This looks like something that Tony Ferguson would train with. Hey, Tony Ferguson's the type of guy that will get the inner life bar and try to grapple with it. But Stephen A. Smith, that fool was born for the inner life bar.
Let me give you a little demo. So, just like always, you'll notice that I'm training without gloves. Mira, if some fool rolls up on me at Little Caesars, I'm not gonna be wearing gloves there either. And I know what you're thinking. What about arthritis? Hey, as far as I'm confirmed, that's arthritis of the mind right there. And I gotta tell you, the spinning bar has the perfect amount of padding to go gloveless. Not too much, not too little. It's not too soft, like a punching bag. It has a little bit of resistance to it. Same with the low part of the pole. Perfect for punching and kicking. You can't kick it too hard or it'll fall over. But that's all right. Because if I kick anything too hard, it'll fall over. I had never trained with the spinning bar before. So I was having a lot of fun. Especially since I had four targets to work with. The head ball, the arm ball, the lower pole, and the spinning bar itself. When you come from where I do, you got full throwing haymakers at you on the daily. So I enjoyed the simulation of the bar. It forced me to move in and out quickly and to duck under as well because I don't have a long reach. So in order for me to land, I have to really get in there. In my opinion, these targets could be whatever you want them to be. The head it is pretty much the head. The spinning bar could be a punch, a kick, a head. The arm ball could be a stomach, a hand, a bent over head, an annoying child. The lower pole could be a groin, thighs, shins, an annoying child. And I have the most fun when I mix it all up and just let it flow. You could just move around and hit it from anywhere. This is one of the reasons why it's perfect for point of origin striking. I want to make sure to mention that the Inner Life Bar is a perfect training partner for every type of martial arts. Aikido, American Kempo, Boxing, BJJ, Capoeira, Escrima, or Filipino martial arts, Tikundo, Judo, Krav Maga, Karate, 
Kickboxing. Kung Fu. Lightweight. Mixed Martial Arts. Muay Thai. Ninjitsu. And Taekwondo. If I left any out, it's only because they don't deserve to be mentioned. I've always been a fan of the Makiwara board, but this one moves. It's perfect for practicing punches, heel palms, back fists, hammer fists, hand swords, etc. You could even practice elbows on it. Not only the conditioning, but the accuracy as well. It's a small target, so it's not easy. I just make it look that way. It's also great for practicing blocks. If you're a traditional martial artist, then you know the pain of throwing a strong block without conditioned arms. I know there's probably a lot of kickers out there wondering if the inner life bar is for them. Yes. Yes, it is. If you want to condition your shins on something that's not going to fall over, then go kick a tree. But if you want to work on your accuracy, creativity, combos, speed, timing, then the inner life bar is for you. It's also great for knees. And remember, it's great to avoid the bar and work on your head movement, but maybe sometimes, you should let it make contact so you can get used to getting hit. And I know it's not as popular these days, but the inner life bar is also great for tetherball training. If you're watching this and thinking to yourself, I'd like to get an inner life bar, but it's not tall enough for me. Think again. It also goes a little lower, but just be careful when you're trying to duck the bar. Mira, I mean this when I say it. I love the inner life bar, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I don't do sponsorships very often because I have to really believe in a product. And they don't really hit me up that much. I'm gonna be putting a couple of links down below in the description, comment section, where you could purchase this for yourself. One of the links is if you just want the spinning bar, and the other one is for the whole thing, like the one that you saw me using. Honestly, I was a little bit confused because the picture looks different, but they sent me and Ramsey Dewey the same one, so I think it should be fine. Maybe just hit them up with the message first. I wanna say a big thank you to Inner Life for my new toy and for trusting me with reviewing your product. It really means a lot to me. And for everybody watching out there, remember, when you support brands that support the Mexican martial arts, then you support the Mexican martial arts. So please pick one up, they're a lot of fun, I'm telling you. Thank you for watching Mexican martial arts, appreciate it, good looking out, late. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for making it to the end of my video. It really means a lot to me, and it would also mean a lot to me if you would scope out my new series, Life of a Grand Master. I'm gonna be doing episode two really soon, and I just wanna make sure that everybody's all caught up. So please scope it out.